हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर अजीत जायसवाल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी पाण्डिचेरी यूनिवर्सिटी पुडुचेरी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए मॉड्यूल इन टाइटल इंट्रोडक्शन टू होमिनिट एवोल्यूशन अंडर पेपर बायोलॉजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट a general understanding about miocen environment and its role in hominid evolution we are we are also going to try to describe various fossil find discovered from several places in africa and other continent we also try to understand the link between link among fossil record and their phylogenetic importance in hominid evolution okay let let me give you a glimpse of information in the in, in the form of introduction it has remained a long lasting interest of anthropologist to unfold evolutionary history of human being excavations were done across the globe and different fossil finds have been traced using various method of comparison hominids are unique primates adopted for particular lifestyle apart from morphological structure of teeth and bone the biocultural approach provide deep insight into the process of evolution pre hominid fossil record indicate that the journey of hominid evolution it begins around 7 to 10 million year ago past few decade have seen several exciting discoveries in especially in african continent to uncover or unravel link between earlier primates and the hominid fossil it is believed that the primitive hominids and the earliest form of human family were evolved and remain confined in africa later the proliferation of species took place in other continent also we can call it as it in the form of theory out of african theory the most complex eocene anthropoid fossil was recovered from north africa now let's try to find out the answer of one of the important question that who are hominids the genera and the species which are totally or directly linked to human family are so some affinity to humans are hominids the term has been loosely used together for monkey apes and hominid fossil at least a dozen of hominid genera have survived during the middle and the late late miocene that is a time of major adaptive radiation known as miocene adaptive radiation miocene has witnessed remarkable geological environmental and climatic changes consequently thick tropical forest gave way to growth of grassland with tree clusters and even desert such ecological condition prove a kick for hominid evolution such as larger brain size bipedal locomotion and related post cranial modification several finding from africa and eurasia suggest about the link between miocene hominids with later hominids we can see this information in the next slide it there remains a great deal of uncertainties however the anatomical and molecular data indicate that the gorilla chimpanzee bonobos are more closely related to human than orangutan thus hominid is a blanket term which wrap a larger array of primate with several phylogenetic diversities method of studying hominid evolution paleoanthropology is a multidisciplinary science it uses a broad based technique to analyze every clue left by early hominids 
Several methods have been used by the paleoanthropologists to establish link between fossil evidence recovered from various sites like comparative morphology, fossil evidence, dating method and molecular technique. Now let's discuss about the comparative morphology. Skeletal remains such as a cranial and postcranial bone and teeth were used to compare structural feature of fossil finds. Cranial capacity, height of the cranial vault, prominence of brow ridges, degree of facial recession, position of foramen magnum, dental characteristics such as size of the teeth, number of cusp on molars, dental arcade that is U or V shaped are popularly used parameter to classify and correlate hominids. Ratio between arm and leg length, size and shape of pectoral and pelvic girdle were also used to determine ways of locomotion. Abilities to use power and precise precision grip have been an important criteria of comparison in, in this method. In the next method called fossil evidence, in this the process of fossilization that is hard animal part such as bones and teeth are replaced by mineral. These fossils are faithful copies of one's living form. Generally cranial bone and teeth were recovered as hominid fossil finds. Post cranial bones which are prone to rapid disintegration were scarcely found or rarely found. Fossil finds are not only helpful in comparing skeletal anatomy but is also help to understand their behavioral aspect such as dietary practices. Now let's discuss about the dating method. It is essential to place fossil finds and cite its proper time frame. To do so, various dating methods are employed. This dating method can be clubbed into two basic types that is relative dating and absolute or chronometric dating. Relative dating tells us that something is older or younger than something else but exact differences in antiquity is not established. For example, a fossil found at deeper layer or strata is older than the fossil found at upper layer or strata. It is based on relative sequence. This method of dating is called as stratigraphic dating. Another relative dating is a florin analysis which can only be used to date the remains of bones. Relative date method like biostratigraphy and Paleomagnetism are comparatively less popular method. Absolute dating method which is most commonly used for hominid fossil is potassium argon method. Hominid fossil have potassium 40 having a half life of 1.25 million years which changes into argon 40. Similarly carbon 14 or C14 is another well-known method in which radioactive carbon-14 having half-life of 5730 years is used for age estimation of fossil. Inorganic material can be dated by a dating technique called thermoluminescence. Dating technique help paleoanthropologists to make interpretation of fossil find. Next important method is a molecular technique. The principle is as such, greater the molecular differences, higher the great genetic differences, particularly DNA and protein between the species. If degree of differences in protein structure and genetic makeup is vast, it indicates that they have evolved separately for a very long time. Sophistication is the method of hybridization. Rapid sequencing and recombinant DNA technique have increased opportunities for studies in molecular anthropology. 
Molecular techniques are now being used frequently to make a sound conclusion regarding hominid evolution. Molecular studies have established that chimpanzee and gorilla are close relative of human. Now let's try to review the fossil record and the key discovery. The figure is reflected on these slides. The fossil of early possible anthropoids were mostly recovered from Africa, Asia and Europe. One of the richest sites that have yielded late Eocene and early Oligocene anthropoid fossil is Fayum in Egypt. It is important to discuss some of the hominid fossil discovered from different part of the world. The fossil from Miocene era or Miocene fossils are like Triopithecus, Pliopithecus, Proconsul, and Sivapithecus. Dryopithecus, the first representative fossil was discovered from St. Gaudens in 1956 in France. The studies on available cranial and postcranial structures suggest that their affinities with living apes. Pliopithecus. It appeared around 16 million years ago. They are smaller in size, almost like gibbon of the present day. They were leaf eaters, semi bracteators without a prehensile tail. However, they do not show skeletal adaptation like true bracteators such as gibbon. Proconsole Fossil were primarily reported from western Kenya and have a close resemblance with hominids. They are not very much like an ape. However, post cranially they resemble much to a monkey. But some of the features such as teeth link them with other hominids. Sivapithecus. This is one of the best known hominid fossil reported mainly from Sivalik Hills which, is known, which lies in the foothills of Himalayas. Their teeth had thick enamel on molars, relatively low cusp on premolar, smaller canine and well-defined sexual dimorphism are other important characteristics of Sivapithecus. There has been great deal of differences among anthropologists regarding their usual diet. They were arboreal, quadrupedal with ability of climbing and suspension. Miocene hominids fossils are widely distributed in Africa, Europe, and Asia. Yet, they are poorly understood by anthropologists till date. However, they are very much like apes and humans. But it is extremely difficult to establish their direct relationship with any of the living form. Only Sivapathicals share mainly facial feature of modern orangutan indicating an evolutionary link. Late Miocene and early Pliocene fossil are like Ardeopithecus, Orion, Salanthropus, late Miocene and early Pliocene fossil. Ardeopithecus The representative fossil were recovered from Ethiopia in 1993. Structure of teeth, particularly of canine and premolar, were having dental complex which is intermediate between apes and human. Now, let's discuss about Orion. Fossil were discovered from Tugin Hills of western Kenya in the year 2000. Evidence of certain stresses on the surface of femur of the fossil is indicative of bipedalism. It there remains a great deal of disagreement among scholars about its erect bipedal gait. Then, Salanthropus fossil were recovered from northern Chad during 2001. The fossil are about 7 million year old. The feature of skulls are very much similar to chimpanzee, except size of their canine teeth, which is smaller than chimpanzee. Now let's discuss about early hominid fossil. The most important representatives are Australopithecus and Paranthropus fossil. 
reported from several sites of African continent. Some of the representative fossils have been very popular such as Tongboy, Lucy and Black Skull, skull etc. The fossils were divided into two categories on the basis of their robustness that is gracile and robust. Australopithecus and Paranthropus show small cranial capacity, progenethus face and thick enamel on molar teeth and post cranial skeleton suggest about their bipedal gait although might not be identical to Homo. This fossil manifests several evolutionary characteristics such as evidence of erect posture and bipedalism, de deciduous dentition, tough and fibrous diet etc. which are important in formulating views on hominid evolution. During their work in Old Boy George, Louis Leakey found fragment of certain cranium having cranial capacity higher than Australopithecus and Paranthropus. The fossil were named as Homo habilis or handyman as they were associated with tools. These fossils were related to Pliopithecus, Pliopleistocene period. Homo habilis has average cranial capacity about 631 cc which is 20% greater than Australopithecus. Characteristics such as dentition and shape of the skull vault of Homo habilis were quite distinct from Australopithecus. Views on hominid evolution Discoveries of several fossils remain primarily from Africa and the rest of the globe have advanced our knowledge on hominid evolution. The anthropologists have tried to link modern human and fossil man to several hominid species unearthed by paleoanthropologists or paleontologists across the globe. The association with lower primates such as uh, prosimians have also been traced and established on the basis of uh, available fossil remains. Not only the discovery of fossil, but the interpretations are very much important in tracing link among the fossil. The task of interpretation is still not complete. In general, anthropologists have not been able to establish a linear relation among the fossil. It is our hunch to know what has happened the population representing various stages of evolution indicated by the fossil. Looking at the big, bigger picture of hominid evolution, it can be concluded that an special environment was essential for hominid evolution to happen and largely such environment was available in African continent. In fact, several genera of hominin were present in Africa and Interestingly, speciation was frequent among various hominin genera appeared during process of evolution. It is hard to conclude whether only environmental conditions had proved as a trigger to the process or other factors were also responsible. A complete record on hominin evolution was never met and therefore gaps will certainly remain. Within the stages of evolution, views of anthropologists vary to arrange species in a definite phylogenetic order. For phylogenetic position of species of genera Australopithecus and Paranthropus, anthropologists have no agreement in their view. Some of them believe that Australopithecus afarensis is closely related to early member of genus Homo. However, others suggest about missing link. Similar differences of opinion have been seen among scholars about evolutionary significance of pre-hominin candidate fossil. Now let's try to conclude the above said informations by providing some important information related to that. 
as the study of hominid evolution remained focus of uh, research not only for paleoanthropologists but also for the archaeologists and the scholar of natural history also. Fossil recovered from Africa and other part of the globe served as a basic evidence to unfold evolutionary history of hominids. The plate tectonic theory or geoclimatic change during the period of Miocene and biocultural approach remained major pillar to build phylogenetic history of hominids. There exists a great deal of agreement among the scholar that the early stage of hominid evolution took place in African continent. Several methods are employed. There are sophisticated techniques were developed and advanced tools were devised to discuss dis, to discover hominid fossil and to explain their evolutionary importance with great precision. Hominid fossil yielded from Africa ranges from late Eocene and early Oligocene to late Miocene and early Pliocene. This fossil include representative of Procenians to genus Homo. During Miocene hominids were significantly, significantly prolific compared to earlier period and the phenomena is called as Miocene adoptive radiation. Now student, let us try to give you a summarized information or what we have learned from these particular modules. This modules give us information of evolution of hominids remain a long lasting interest of anthropologists. The biocultural approach provided deep insight in the process of hominid evolution. There is a continuous climatic change what is called as climatic condition during Miocene that had proved a, a kick or provide a good conditions towards hominid evolution. With the advancement or development in dating method, refinement in molecular technique and growth of interdisciplinary research, the evolutionary studies got a fresh momentum in the past few decades. Several discoveries, discoveries of hominid fossil in recent time, particularly in Africa, it provide a clear picture of hominid evolution. Thank you.